you are all welcome back. So guys, uh, there's something I really want to talk about the governor of Anambra State, Governor Willie Obiano. You know, at some point, this man has come out to tell Nigerians, for as many who care to listen, that the killing, especially in Anambra State, is not as a result of IPOB members or Eastern Security Network, but it's as a result of some politicians, they are the ones sponsoring these killings. And that has come to vindicate IPOB members. Which IPOB members, they have been saying it before now, that they know nothing about all of these things, whether in the in Anambra State or in Aiboni, or whether it is in Imo State, in Southeast General, that they have nothing to do with any killing. Their business is to go after Esmen, Fulani Esmen, who have brought problem into this country, who have created problem across board, not only in the Southeast. But people don't seem to believe them. When this issue of a uh, sit at home order came on board, before we could say Jack Robinson, after two or three weeks, they just came out and said, no, 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 they are going to cancel it. And some people took it upon themselves and said, no, they want to be enforcing it. Why the people who really instituted or launched this sit at home order said, they are not going to go along that line because they don't want to continue to subject their people to poverty and suffering again. And that is the reason why Governor Willie Obiano came out and said, it is not IPOB, he has done his own investigation, but people don't want to listen, just like people don't want to listen to the to IPOB, who have said they have nothing to do with all of these killings, and they have suspended the sit at home order. And one thing that struck most is that when last they had meeting, when the Southeast governors, when they had their meeting concerning this insecurity and what have you, Governor Obiano did not go there. He did not attend. He didn't attend. He said he cannot go and sit down with those who are the sponsors of all these attacks and killings. Does that not speak volume? And people are not paying attention to that statement. How do you expect me? According to what he said, how do you expect me to sit among those who are causing, who are sponsoring the killings? And people are, are saying, no, 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 we don't want to hear. This is a sitting governor. He's talking about his colleagues. Though he didn't mention him. So you should be able to use your tongue to count your, count your teeth. He said he cannot sit down with them. They, who are the people, who are the custodians of uh, each of the states in the region? Are they not the governors? He said he can't sit with them. So do we see the say that among the, how many are there? Are they six or five? How many of them? If he, if he did not go, then that means the rest people. It is so easy. When you talk about uh, maybe hundreds of people, 200 people. No, we are talking about five or six people who are the chief security officers of their various states. He said he cannot sit along with them. What does that tell one? But there's a narrative that has been passed in, in the society that it is IPOP. It must be IPOP. Whether you like it or not, whether whatever, even if they like, they come and debunk it. No, we don't want to accept the atrocities happening in the South East. It's as a result of IPOP uh, carrying us this whole thing whether they deny it or not. So a lot of people are running with that. I don't understand. That is the conspiracy that we are talking about. If a sitting governor is telling us that I cannot sit down with the people who are sponsoring these so-called killings, then what does that tell you? What does that tell one? Yes. Yes, as a recent interview with the State House Press Corps, Governor Willie Obiano exonerated IPOB from the killings on why he was not at meeting of the South East Governors. The governor had said, how did you expect me to sit down at table and discuss security with those who are sponsoring the insecurity and killings in my state? All I know is that we are going to find out the hoodlums and bring them to book, he stated. In a broadcast to stop People of the state September ending, the governor said in their number, these attacks are accompanying death cannot be justified and must stop now. I have therefore conducted an extensive security meeting and have directed all security agencies to step up and confront this monster ravaging our land. I charge everyone involved in the security architecture of Anambra State to take very seriously this threat to our livelihood and body rise to confront same. You see? You heard that. 
you so much head that how do you expect me to sit down with the same people who are sponsoring the insecurity and killings and you said no you don't want to listen to what he said this is not just a, a man who is speaking like people always refer nigerian people as a beer parlor talk no if he's talking he, he has a to a very large extent he has some security information you know that a governor of a uh, emo state Uzodi Mati, the same thing. He said, "Oh, it was hype up." All of a sudden, he made he made a U-turn and said, "No, this is this must not be hype up. This is a political killing going on in Imo State." Even as a then, he said it, but because of uh, they want to score political points, they will not want to go direct. But everybody knows it. But some people have purported in their hearts that, "Oh, you know what? We must believe oh, to the end, though it is hype up, especially the people from the north." They are not even concentrating on what is happening in their own region, but they are bothered about what is happening in the East. And it's, a, it's an orchestrated insecurity and challenges happening there. That was why you could see that uh, this man just jumped up. The AGF, Malami, just jumped up. Oh, we are going to declare Anambra a state of emergency. And people just laugh. And some people come and say, oh, what is happening in the North and what is happening in the Southeast? Or when you talk about uh, Anambra State, that there are different cases. They are two different things. Says who? If so, what is happening in those in the northern part of the country does not deserve state of emergency. That is why that is what some people are telling us. So, but when it comes to the issue of Anambra, this uh, Malami just jumped and said, "Oh, you know what? You know what? What is the what he's talking about? Is this state must be declared state of emergency?" And people rose and say. Mbano, you can't do that. Like, 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 you dare not do that. If you want to do that, you have to start from points, whatever, where the real security challenges are being faced with the people. You have to start from there. We don't even know what they have behind. The president was saying different things. Uh, the Malami was saying different thing. The governor who went to see Buhari in Asu Villa said a different thing when he came out. That uh, the president is not aware of the what is so called the declaration of a state of emergency. But that being said, what we are concerned about is that the statement by the governor of Anambra State. How do you expect me to sit down with those who are the sponsors of this attack, this terror, these challenges that we are faced with? How do you expect me to come and discuss with them? Now, when you know what they are doing, but Nigerians are not seeing it from there. You know, we have a multiple problems. Oh, well, you know, maybe that is why a lot of people are not even remembering. What well, something will happen in the morning, you just be thinking about that. Before you could say Jack Robinson, another one has happened. Before you could say another thing, another thing has happened. Then you are forgotten the ones that happened in the morning. Maybe that is the reason why a lot of people are not even taking notes. But some people are doing some things deliberately. Seeing white calling is black. So guys, let us hear your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.